Hello, hello. It is a beautiful Thursday morning. So why don't we play some Caves of Quad? Last time we left off on our super region character, we had just entered the underwater passage beneath Joppa. And we were exploring. And so I think we'll keep doing it. Nasty centipede. Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> uh oh, there's a slumberling. Let's get out of here the line of sight. And turn this down just a little bit. So it seems a little bit loud to me. Let's uh, skedaddle down this way. So that we're not getting slammed by quite so many creatures at once. Uh oh. Slumberling is awake. So we may need to run. Ace, please. Okay. Guy's really strong, and now he's dead. Okay, let's rest. Should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. We should need to be very careful of that slumberling. Take a quick peek. <laughs> okay, so he's right beside us. It's a problem because we really need to get back onto the map to continue exploring. Worst comes to worst. You know what? Let's let's throw the slumberling into a space-time vortex. Haha. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> the slumbling to the southwest disappears. And look, you can even see the items were sucked into the space-time vortex. Maybe we should throw down something with an inscription and see if we find it again in our playthrough at a later time. That sounds fun to me. Let's do that. Let's take this recycling suit. Let's um, add a note to it. Find me. And we'll drop it and hope the thing picks it up. But we're gonna run. If it doesn't pick it up, we'll throw down another space-time vortex in a little bit. Ouch, what just hit me? Not sure. Wooden arrow. I think their projectiles have new tiles as well. What just cracked? Can't see anything. Oh, uh, I see. I cleave through his armor. Okay. You really shouldn't be fighting like this, but... I don't care. <laughs> so we'll take this buckler. I think. I don't know. Do we want more armor value? At the expense of dodge value. Probably not, actually. Bronze dagger, bindwood sap mask, that can be useful. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. A plastic tree. No thanks. Bonds of the meadow. Let's read these real quick, make sure there's not anything hidden in them. Alright, so this guy's a little bit more spooky, isn't he? Well, let's get back for just a minute and regen our HP. So that we're feeling a little safer. And we'll let him have it. 
vertically hits us with his bite. He cleaves through our armor. Armor is cracked. Well, that sucks. That was my reinforced studded leather. Um, anything good from this guy? Some arrows. And a bronze mace. Nothing good. Have you, have any of you been playing the new MMO released, uh, New World? My whole family's been playing it. We're kind of addicted. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's really, really fun. Uh, let's see if this is ready. 348 turns. Okay. Well, we gotta wait, because I want to throw this suit. Stop waiting because you're hungry. See a centipede to the northwest. Well, we'll go take care of that while we wait. Hey, we got a hit point. An additional nine hit points, mutation point, and plus one to all attributes. Level six is very nice. So, let's go check out our character sheet. 19 strength and agility, 31 toughness. So this is a kind of in-between level for us. Um, no new bonuses to any of our attributes, but it's still nice to get plus one to everything. And we're starting to see some pretty nice resists, 20 to cold and heat. We'd like some electrical resist. Acid's not as important because we'll probably acid proof most of our gear at some point. Regeneration's up to level four, which is nice. And so it might take another point in two hearted. So I'd like to get that up to level five at some point. Um, let's make camp real quick. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Well, where are they? Ah, there he is. Snapjaw scavenger dies. Rest in peace. Okay. And our armor has repaired itself now, so that's nice. Still hostiles. Alright. Bark armor. Yeah, they, the projectiles definitely do have new tiles, which is cool. Now you could, once you get used to it, I guess, you could, uh visually know what is being shot at you rather than having to read the the uh, log salve injector we'll sell that and we'll get that now can we eat nice gross sprinkle of fish meat a smidgen of fish meat a nip of old brine and a gunsmith's right arm delicious we're now a cannibal. And if it was real life, I'd be dead because I'm allergic to fish. Uh, are we ready to throw this into a space-time vortex? Yes, but let's back up. Okay. It missed. <laughs> no, it missed. Um, that sucks. Come on, come up. You know you want to walk. You know you want to take my suit with you? Fine! Okay, we'll hold on to this for now and try and get another 500 turns. For now, let's look around. We already got this chest, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a snap jaw. Counterweighted club. Could be interesting. There you are. I knew there'd be another snap jaw around. Okay, I'm just gonna get ourselves a little bit better position. You see how he walked up though? He was positioning so himself so that if there, was, if there were any other snap jaws with him, they would have access to me from my right side, that diagonal right here, and to the south. It's definitely some new behavior. We'll have to be really on top of our positioning because that's spooky. Weird artifact, what kind of grenade did we get? Defoliant, 
Don't need a short bow. Well, I mean, we probably do need it, but I want a musket. And you know what? Let's go ahead and look at our skills. 95 is not a lot, but maybe something in here worth taking for now. Can't even take endurance. Short blade tactics. Hmm, hurdle's actually pretty good. That's just gonna make us safer if we need to run away. Okay, witchwood wreath and a hand axe. Nothing too interesting. Nope. Centipede. Man, I kind of miss my Esper. <laughs> uh oh, a slug snout. Ouch. Can we take this thing at such a low level? Uh oh. Let's take a look at him. He's wounded. Hmm. I wish we had a cell. Like a power cell. I'd love to. Start smacking that guy with that. Um, we'll see what happens. If we get super low, we'll pump that love injector into him. Okay, we killed him. Well, that worked out. Here's the water. We'll follow this along. If you go up into the caves, like north or southeast, you will get lost. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'd like to show the completion of the main story quest though. Just because last time we died. And I was reading through the patch notes and they've added a couple of new, I believe, in-game areas that I'd really like to explore. It might be interesting for you guys to watch that as well. If I make it that far on this character. If not, we'll make another one. Uh-oh. Hopefully this didn't uh, block off our passageway to the east. A wet beaded bracelet. Nice. Okay, let's make this guy stay in the water. Give him a penalty. There we go. It's pretty easy. A painted wooden buckler. Let's take a look at that. Oh, this could give us reputation with the cult of the coiled lamb. Hmm. Do we really want to haul this around though for 60 reputation? Not really. But at least we know we have some more experience waiting for us. That hurt. Alright. Getting shot by something. It really hurts. Okay. Another beaded bracelet. Can you imagine just like you watch this dude walk by you? It's probably like glowing with some sort of I don't know nuclear radiation that makes his body regenerate, and he's just covered from wrist to to elbow in, in bracelets. Because <laughs> we don't have a backpack, so we're carrying all this on our person. Uh, sorry if you hear a lawnmower outside, and our neighbors are mowing with a really nice, but really loud lawnmower. We actually pay people to do our lawn. We're lazy. <laughs> now you know a secret about me. Don't tell anyone. Nice, level 7. 
find the mutation point. Okay. Let's make our double heart stronger. This did not level up again yet. So this probably can't either, yeah. Hmm. I don't really want to spend points on either one of those, so I won't. And I think we'll wait to try and get another mutation. Some gloves. Cool. A wet iron battle axe. Yeah, we're already using that. I need to drop this bronze battle axe that I saw in my inventory earlier. And all these torches. Adios. Bronze battle axe. Along. Okay, let's try this again. And let's try really hard not to get sucked into it. E. There we go. <laughs> Recycling suit has been sent somewhere. And one day we hope to find it again. We're doing some science. I guess we'll identify that grenade. Oh, it wasn't a grenade. Interesting. A flaming iron mace. Okay, that's really nice. When powered, this weapon does an additional one heat damage on hit. So now we can set things on fire. And the more we hit them, the hotter they'll get. At least the last time I played. I don't know now. It might be a little bit different on temperature calculations. Oh, come on, Dreadroot. Don't make me afraid. Literally sentient plants down here trying to kill me. Okay. Looks like the... Underwater river is going to the right, so we will follow. Uh, look, I have a shotgun. Yeah, not the shotgun. Let's get in his face. Don't let him shoot us again. Okay. Another weird artifact. Cool. What did we get? Oh, okay. We got the shotgun. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't have any bullets, but I'll take it. This item can be fired while adjacent to multiple enemies without risk of the shot going wild. Multiple projectiles per shot. Eight. Which could do potentially 16 damage. Wait, does it have any bonuses? Accuracy is super low, though. If I had, like, a way to boost the accuracy on this character, it would be, be pretty useful. Interesting. It always weirds me out when there's extra water generated on this level. Occasionally you'll have a branching river where, like, say this body of water is connected to this one, and then you go this way, and there's, there's of course there's going to be an entrance down this way too. See, there it is. And so you go that way and you walk into like five electrical being, uh, what are they called? Spark ticks. Yeah. Walk like right into five spark ticks and they'll all just like gang up on you and murder you. Oh, there's a null worm. Not that scary, is it? I mean, that beak's kind of scary. It's got really good armor penetration. There's two. Let's back up. Luckily, this thing's pretty slow. Should give us time to swim away from it. And we'll keep it right here in the water. There we go. 175 experience. Now, if we could find one of their skulls, I'd actually take that right now. It's because we get an ego bonus. Since we're on an odd integer. Ouch. Careful about pressing buttons too many times. <laughs> Aw, no school. That's fine. We're hungry again.
Well, at least we're not eating people's arms this time. Okay. Speaking of eating people's arms. There's a cannibal. And another one. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. It's backed up. Oh, the bats are helping us. That's funny. Take out the lesser creature first. The eyeless crab. Might have to run from this dude. I'm getting stomped. What do we kill? I'm dazed. Oh, the, the, the bat died. I got stunned. Alright, let's run. It's getting a little spooky. 33 turns to use our space time vortex. So we'll just run away and regenerate. If you're following along, this is a very, very safe build. Um, not too experimental. I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit of fun with the space time vortex. And psychometry. Points could have been invested for like better physical damage. Horns would have been really nice for extra chance to daze. With extra damage. Um, I wanted to do something a little different. Bye, crab. And what's really interesting, a lot of games would just be like, okay, the monster's dead, never see it again. But no. Caves of Quiet actually saves the monster data. And there's a potential when a new level is generated for that monster to be inserted. Or item. Since uh, we threw in our recycling suit. Okay. About halfway to level 8 almost. This is a really nice start. We want to go deeper. I can't remember. I feel like the answer is no. But, uh, you know, here's a book, and there's a book, we'll take them with us, and we'll go back up. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go down. Another null, two null worms. This, this is a little spooky, so we're trapping ourselves inside this corridor, but I feel pretty confident that we'll win, and we did. Go through these guys real quick. We're almost level 8. Cries of the centipede. There we go. Level 8. We just keep getting stronger. So now we have two mutation points. Regeneration's level 5. Hmm, we're starting to see a little bit of diminishing returns for the healing rate. It's no longer 10% per chance, or per level. But that 3% chance to remove a physical debuff is looking pretty good. Could take another point in uh, two hearts for an additional toughness point and some more sprint, which we will, and we'll save our other mutation point. Oh, that's a legendary. What does he got? He's disliked by the Mechanimist. We definitely want to murder him. Make our life a lot easier. Hated by the Seekers of the Sightless Way? Interesting. <laughs> Alright. How hurt is he? Badly wounded. Now despised by Snapjaws. Hmm. Well, we have to kill... Three more guys like him to uh, be friendly with the Seekers of the Sightless Way. That would be weird. I don't think I've ever had that happen in a game. 
Uh, my equipment is really damaged. Okay, it's repaired now. All good. So now... Could take a plus two bonus to our dodge value. That's really strong. Could take cleave. Whenever you hit an opponent with an axe, 75% chance you cleave their armor. So we get rid of their armor value. Hmm, can stack up to half your strength modifier. Hmm. Strength modifier is plus one. So right now I can only stack to one. And one minus one armor value is not that good. And additionally, once we hit plus two strength, it's still only going to be minus one armor value. So we'll probably wait to take cleave until we have at least plus three from strength. Because that would give us two stacks. Um, minus two armor value. Which is much more... It doesn't sound like that big of a difference. You're like, oh, well, it, one armor minus two. But it does make quite a bit, big difference. Let's see. We're not smart enough to cook. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Take bludgeon. 50% chance to daze. Uh, that's pretty good. The agility decreases their chance to hit as well as decreasing their dodge value, so we're more likely to hit. Um, and then if we daze them, they're stunned, and they lose all their dodge value, and they lose their action as well. So it's like a, it's a really good offensive and defensive skill. Probably our top priority here. Just looking through, trying to think about what's coming next to make sure. Definitely don't want juicer. Charge is pretty good too though. Because it gives you penetration. Mm. Such a tough choice. Spry sounds good. Kind of. But I think we need more offensive power. We'll take bludgeon. It's like those crabs we just could not handle. Uh oh. Back up. And wait. Okay. The miss with the iron battle axe. Ouch. I don't like this. There we go. Quillipede. Doing some serious damage. Come on. Hmm. Okay, it's badly wounded. There we go. 325 experience. There we go. Let's rest. Lots of arrows. Okay. Anything good? Nope. Dead end. No worm and a spider. It's trapped in the web, so just smack him around. See you later. Getting some nice crits. Alright. So I think that we just want to keep following the river. Let's back up. But at some point, we want to go back up. Let me back up. I guess they're not coming. Okay. Oh, well, I guess they are blind. Blind eyeless crabs. Nice. Okay. So I see 
two null worms, a snap jaw, and an eyeless crab. So we're gonna back up to see if the others will follow us. And I may just throw this crab into space. I don't really feel like we're equipped to handle him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we almost took an adventure. Okay. And what's really interesting, if there's multiple factions on the screen, if you go down so they can't see you anymore, they'll fight each other. You could just relax. Okay. That was a nice hit. Is there something wrong with my mace? I don't see myself hitting with it at all. Right hand. Left hand. Hmm. Wondering if I did something wrong with, um, with my understanding of dual building. Yeah, because I don't see any. No, okay, there comes a hit with the Iron Mace. Just seems to be very slow. So maybe I'm left-handed. And the right hand is actually my offhand. These things, quills, really hurt. Die already. Jeez. 109 hit points. <laughs> Just shredded by quills. Um, let's make camp. Nothing interesting. There's a crab. Shall we test our luck? I think we will. Alright, so I'm guessing this green asterisk means that I am left-handed. Let's swap. So I'd like to be using the... I don't need to see all of this. Where is weapons? Is this weapons? No, it's torches. There we go. Counterweighted iron mace. And we might maybe we'll just dual wield maces, honestly. Cause I like the idea of uh I don't know, we spent points in an axe already. I was just thinking it'd be nice to have uh the flaming mace. Okay, we'll keep the battle axe for now. Let's see, how long has this video been running? 33 minutes? We didn't really get much done, did we? <laughs> oh. I am really gonna start paying more attention. Let's see if our primary hit now is the mace. Let's back up. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we can fight pretty well here, so let's get in this corner. There we go. Wow, we got a lot of stuff from that. Let's take a look at this. Blaze Injector. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, we do have shotgun shells. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Our shotgun. <laughs> that we don't know how to use. Nice. Really weird. I'm just gonna auto explore, see if we pick up any artifacts or anything like that. 
Another quillipede. Oof, did you see that? It expelled its quills and I lost like 25 HP. That's spooky. Another crab. Yeah, okay. So, my character is left handed. That's interesting. Funny coincidence to me. So I'm also left handed in real long. Well, sort of. I mean, I was born that way, but when I went to school, my teacher demanded that I write with my right hand. <laughs> so I actually ended up using my right hand more than my left hand. It's not a problem now that I'm older. Because after our get out of elementary school you can pretty much do what you want you know but for that brief period in your life sort of like <laughs> everything you do is dictated by people around you and we got level nine nice character is progressing got an attribute point tempted to put it into strength I guess not actually, because then we just have an odd number. We'll throw in a toughness. Then at level 12, all of our bonuses will go up, so that'll be fine. Mutation points, this can't go up, right? Yeah. But next level it can. And let's just do some more auto exploring. There we go. Some. Random faction reputation and secrets. Oh look, there's a stair up. Okay. So, now that we've found these stairs up, we should be at the floor where we'll find the glow whites. So we'll do that real quick and I think we'll call this video a day. So I'm ready for some coffee. Sure, my cats would like some playtime too. Got a new kitten actually, her name's Freya. And she was about eight weeks old when we found her outside. Someone had abandoned her. But uh, with kittens, there's a kind of a pretty short time period where they can be socialized. Um, I think the cutoff is generally recommended about 10 weeks. So she doesn't... She developed enough outside that... It's not that she doesn't like humans. She just doesn't... Prefer them over other cats, I guess. So she doesn't really like to be held or... Or touched or anything like that, but... She still likes to spend time with people. Like, uh... For some reason, whenever she wants to give herself a bath, she'll come hide behind my- Like if I'm sitting on the couch, she'll come like hide behind me, give herself a bath, and then leave. She's like, okay, nice hanging out with you. <laughs> Wondering if we should go down or... Not even sure this was the right place actually this is says subterranean salt marsh a little concerned maybe I should follow the river a little bit further further north I think I'm gonna try that real quick actually we can let the video go a little longer won't hurt anyone or if you get bored turn it off <laughs> always imagine people just watch these while they're going to sleep anyways that's probably what I would do Just something comforting about listening to someone talk while you're going to bed. At least to me. Maybe some people find that annoying. What is... A flash of light flickers past from the northwest. 
Okay, so there's some type of Esper or something. Oh, what are these? Glow moths. Okay. I think they have light manipulation. Ouch. They really hurt. Good thing we have a fat uh, HP stack. <laughs> Yeah, I should have honestly been dead there. That was really stupid. I just ran right into that. Like five of them. There's still hostiles nearby. Let's be careful this time. I'm sure though that living through so many dire situations on this character is going to make me feel way too secure and comfortable. And then I'll end up dying because of that. <laughs> it's generally how it goes. Although I've never actually played this character. I'm not sure what uh, in-game looks like for too hard in a regeneration. It's on paper. Right now this early game's pretty smooth. Because we're so defensive, but we lack really any super strong offense right now and we have some utility in the form of uh, artifacts um as well as you know a uh, panic button like for this crab right here i don't really need to panic but oh, man it missed okay got him <laughs> run away yeah that can send you anywhere so you could very well end up in like a level like 30 deep strata just like insta die to some terrifying machinery equipped with like multiple laser guns ah. seeds almost level 10 Ouch, I got impaled. Okay, let's keep going up, I guess. There we go. We finally made it. It's a Gershling. Probably shouldn't be fighting in the water, but who cares? We'll take that. Make sure that we're not encumbered. Oh, we got plenty of uh, encumbrance. Jesus. This artifact is too complex for you to decipher its function. Okay, I think that is a good indicator that we should level up psychometry. Oh, it's still tier one because it's minus two. Okay. So we'd actually have to put another point into it. Well, that's rough, but okay. Fair enough. I want to try again and see if, like, maybe it was actually only able to ID artifacts up to level 2? Nope. Okay. Although I think that's the anti-gravity spear. Because it says negative 10 on the, uh, poundage. Little bit of, uh, spoiler. Ah. Uh, Here's a globe white cultist. Stop gathering because you see something shooting at myself. My name is Ishromo Ur. It's an interesting name. A lot of scrap down here. Can you guys stop that? It's so annoying. I thought I had an option to um, auto scrap or auto disassemble our scrap. How to pick up books, of course. Yeah, guess maybe. Oops, maybe it is automatically disassembling it. And it just isn't showing it. 
Or maybe these aren't disassemblable. Oh. Derp. I don't have the tinkering skill. <laughs> I just have psychometry. Duh. Duh. Wooden arrow, bark arm, wooden buck lid. All right, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, take that. Dun, 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 dun. And imagine if Caves of Cradle was multiplayer. <laughs> imagine you and all your friends just throwing out space-time vortexes. It would get messy real fast. Also, you need like some type of multiplayer scaling. It's like a group of quad delvers would just be so overpowered. Mm. Do not know. Oh, Shaw, sure. I'll take that. A little bit of temperature resistance, if I remember correctly. No guarantee that I do. Let's back up a little bit. A little spooky. Take that. Ouch. Ouch. What am I getting hit by a slug snout? Yeah. One, two. Oh, nice days. And we stunned him. He's still stunned. Oh, look at this. That's the power of the mace right there. That's beautiful. Hello? Maybe I'll play some music. Is there any kind of music you guys like to listen to? That way you don't have to hear me talking on stuff for like an hour. <laughs> Although I feel like it'd be maybe even more boring to just stare at the screen and listen to <laughs> snap draws go Ugh. or see it's go uh, actually i can't make that noise <laughs> i don't know what they did <laughs> okay hey look at that stairs are right there another grenade take a look at that a glitter grenade it could be beautiful nice oh i didn't take it Get that, and this, and we're home free. Watch us get lost on the way to Joppa. We didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> that have been terrible. <laughs> Here you go. I found this corpse of this freaky thing. Would you like it? Maybe you should show it to the Elder. He likes to look at things like that. You're right, that's a great idea. Um, we read through this before, I won't do it again. There we go. Now the villagers like us. Let's see what we got. Freezing bronze short sword. We'd like to sell that. This is fix-it foam. We'll keep that for a rainy day. Drop this Gersling corpse. Hmm. Anything else we need to do? Oh, we got another shotgun. Water stained. What does that mean? Oh, I guess it's just literally water stained. <laughs> like with your silverware, you know? You ever run it through the dishwasher and it has those weird water stains? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let's call it a day here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you stayed till the end. You didn't understand. No hard feelings. <laughs> Till next time, live and drink.